Now that we've looked at simple arrangement of common epithelia, let's take a few minutes to look at stratification within the epithelial tissue. In this segment, we will look at stratified cuboidal and stratified columnar epithelium. Before we do so, let's first revisit the idea of stratified epithelium. We know that in, a, in simple epithelium, we see that all of the cells within the strata come in contact with the basement or basal membrane. Pay close attention as you view your slides to this arrangement. Within stratified epithelium, the cells are stacked and arranged in multiple layers. Only the deepest layer of the tissue comes in direct contact with the basement membrane. The additional layers of stratified epithelia do not come in contact with the basement membrane. Both of these epithelial cell types are less common within the human body. Stratified cuboidal epithelia can be found within sweat glands as well as the mammary ducts. Typically, stratified cuboidal epithelia are arranged in two layers. They are also still associated with ducts and tubules within the mentioned structures. The cell structure is the same as seen in simple cuboidal epithelia in that the cells are box-shaped, same width as height, and still contain those large, darkly stained nuclei. Stratified columnar epithelia is even more uncommon within the human body. The main location we find stratified columnar epithelia is within, uh, within the human body can be found within the male urethra. We can see the multiple layers of stacked stratified columnar epithelia in this view. Why do we only find the stratified columnar epithelia lining the male urethra, you may ask? Function has a lot to do with it. The male urethra not only carries urine, but the male urethra also transports ejaculate and passes through the penis. We find the stratified columnar epithelia further along the urethral tract within a segment called the spongy urethra that passes through the penis. Since the female anatomy does not include the penis, the urethra there does not pass through the structure, and so the arrangement and the tissue density and composition varies.